Those of us that love aviation and specifically aircraft find ourselves often in conversations about airframes, paint, custom interiors, avionics, and of course, engines. But what about the driving force of all of those things? The propeller. All right, well today I've traveled down to Sebring, Florida to Duke Propellers to give you a tour. Let's start by traveling to the other side of the planet to the world headquarters of Duke Propellers located in the beautiful country of France. Here you will find the engineers responsible for matching your airframe to the correct prop to maximize efficiency and exploring new platforms and concepts for the future like VTOL and rotor wing aircraft. Here is where the process for constructing high quality carbon fiber propellers begins. In their cold storage room, where the laying out of raw materials to be cut to length on a CNC knife cutting machine begins. The serial numbers in canal shielding and branded logos are all cut and prepped to be inserted into the mold at the same time the propellers are formed. These are the many machines used at Duke Propellers to mold these high quality carbon fiber propellers. On this press, one blade at a time is put under tremendous pressure in a heated mold to evenly cure the resin. There are similar machines for different blades, hubs, and accessories, all utilizing this same process. The blade at this stage has fully cured, but the final machining of the finished edges still needs to be completed. You can see now that the serial number is embedded into the mold, as well as the branded logo and the leading edge has the Inconel shielding inside as well. This is all perfectly smooth and you cannot see or feel a step moving from one surface to the other. The hubs are also made of carbon fiber and are forged carbon in a similar press and process as the propeller blades. All of the holes and cutting are done at the same time in this machine during the curing process and is a patented proprietary method. The trimming of the blades is done in a vacuum room to eliminate carbon dust in the building. Duke propellers also produce blades for rotorcraft, including helicopters and VTOL. With these specific machines, they produce the very long blades for helicopters. Let's travel back to the other side of the planet to the small town of Sebring, Florida to learn more about the entire product line of Duke Propellers. Hey Brian, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I will introduce myself first of all to your uh, viewers. Uh, my name is Gaetan Fuzing. I'm a uh, business uh, development manager for Duke Propellers USA. Uh, Duke Propellers is a uh, French manufacturer of uh, carbon fiber and rotors uh, in, uh, based out of uh, Lyon, France. Um, we've been uh, in the U.S. Uh, since uh, 2018 uh, and uh, we are right here located at the Sebring Regional Airport uh, out of Sebring, Florida. Gaetan, if you could explain the different offerings for uh, piston aircraft in your, your different blades here. Uh, thank you, Brian. Um, one thing that people do not uh, usually realize is that uh, different type of airplanes have different types of blade. 
uh, for example, a stall aircraft would not have uh, the same blade as, a, as an aircraft that goes from point A to point B. Um, so for that reason, Duke as a manufacturer addresses each segment of aviation with different uh, propellers. Um, we uh, start uh, with the airframe, the type of plane that you're flying, the mission, and based on that, we've developed several families of propellers. Um, I assume that's more like a speed range per... Not only just the speed, but it also has to do uh, with uh, the type of flying that you're doing. If you're doing recreational and you're doing, uh, you're going um, low and slow, uh, it will necessitate a different blade from someone who is going really, really fast from point A to point B. Uh, so we have several families of propellers. Uh, we started from uh, with uh, the wind spoon uh, propeller. Uh, then we move on to the swirl family. Uh, from the Swirl family, we upgraded to a newer version of the Swirl 3. Uh, we also have a Flash family. Uh, after the Flash family, um, we also have the Swirl 2 family, which is for direct drive engine. And then later on, I'm sure we're going to talk about uh, the variable pitch propeller. Um, for someone that's really going fast, you know, a 200 knots airplane, uh, we will more than likely sell them a recommended Swirl 3, which is, uh, uh, which is a blade that's more suitable, uh, entirely uh, designed uh, through a computer program. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it has a smaller um, cord. And uh, actually uh, it has a, what we uh, call a, a Duke propeller a constant speed effect, meaning that it gives you a higher thrust at takeoff and a higher, you know, uh, cruise speed, uh, a higher cruise speed. And uh, this is essentially due to the design of the blade, and this is something that a uh, Duke propeller is known for. So, uh, to answer to your question, you know, a, the difference between a stall blade and a and a fast cruise uh, blade will definitely it would be the design of the blade and the size of the cord. You know, we'll probably recommend a Swirl 3 depending of uh, the engine that you have for a high, you know, for a really fast airplane and a Flash 3 that has a really, really uh, huge uh, cord. Hey everyone, let me take just a moment to thank our sponsors to make all of this possible. Great companies like Airworks, AirTech Coatings, Clemens Insurance Agency. Find links to each of their websites in the description below and tell them you found them here on the Experimental Aircraft channel. And if you haven't already, I invite you right now to subscribe, hit the like button for this video, and check out our affiliate links in the description below. So one of the questions I have for propellers, propeller manufacturers, uh, is wh what's the big difference between a two blade or a three blade? Is there an advantage to one or the other? Or is it just a, an appearance thing? It's more than appearance. Um, a, um, it's also a, uh, a preference, a personal preference. And um, we also uh, will base uh, the choice, our recommendation will be based on uh, what's going to be, uh, what's going to offer you uh, the smoothest ride. Uh, what's going to be better for you as a, an aircraft uh, uh, operator. So uh, it's, um, more than likely, with a three blade, uh, it's usually smoother. Uh, you have a smoother ride, you know, it will feel better, it will be quieter than a two blade. But if uh, speed uh, is what you're looking for, uh, sometimes a two blade uh, will be recommended versus a three blade. Uh, but uh, it's also a question of uh, what works for your aircraft, uh, your aircraft and uh, engine combination. All right, Gaetan, give us a, just a quick description of each of these blades that you guys do offer here. Okay, so um, we offer uh, different families of propellers based on uh, your need and uh, your aircraft uh, and engine combination. And uh, as I said earlier, we have several families of uh, propellers, uh, the wind spoon, uh, the swirl family, the flash family. Uh, we also offer a full offering of uh, constant speed and variable pitch propeller. Uh, they call us the black family. We have a, a quick adjustable, which is called uh, either the swirl black or the flash black. Uh, we have a fully uh, electric or uh, fully hydraulic or a hybrid version called a hybrid uh, uh, electric and, uh, and, and, 
and hydraulic. So where you use both, uh, both combination in the, the variable pitch propeller. So um, that being said, we offer uh, two blades propellers, uh, three blades, four blades, and five blades. Uh, it's going to depend on uh, the, the horse, uh, the, the engine horsepower. And uh, also one thing uh, that I always emphasize is to, uh, if you're not sure what kind of propeller that you need to get, is to give us a call uh, with uh, our engineering team. Uh, we'll more than likely determine uh, what, what, uh, what propeller is suitable for your aircraft. And I see you've got a couple different, these are all um, foam core carbon blades, correct? Yes. Uh, our propellers uh, have a uh, foam core and uh, what makes us different from everyone else is uh, the, the, the way they're manufactured. Uh, not only do they all have uh, the, the leading, uh, the Enconel leading edge, uh, they also offer uh, the option of choosing um, the the logo and the and, and, and the tips uh, we have a color palette of up to nine colors that you can uh, uh, that you can pick out of and uh, you can uh, customize them for no additional cost uh, some of them are like the few that you have here on the table have american flag tips with red white yellow blue kia blue logos and most importantly the one thing that differentiates us from all our competitors is uh, the forge carbon uh, that our owner actually uh, has a patent on. Uh, this is a technology that was developed in, um, in the carbon fiber uh, auto industry and that we've transferred into a propellers. So essentially, uh, to the carbon, uh, to, 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 to the foam core, we actually uh, put the, the carbon fiber, we lay the carbon fiber and they actually cooked on the high pressure. And that keeps, that's what gives you the natural shine. As you can see, none of our blades are actually painted. And everything is actually embedded, including the label and the, the protective leading edge in the end canal. Um, and uh, the, the, the forged carbon uh, fiber makes it extremely light, extre uh, shiny, as you said. That's a natural shine. It's no paint applied to our blades. And uh, it makes it extremely resistant. So this forged carbon, is, is this a proprietary thing? I've never heard of it before. It is. It is. We actually, as I said, we actually own the part. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it done uh, with like water, water hydraulic, hydrostatic pressure or like a oil fluid or how, how is the, the forging? Are you able to tell us what that is? Uh, is that top secret? Without getting into too much uh, proprietary uh, <laughs> trade secrets, uh, we use a little bit of uh, pressure, oil and, uh, and water. Uh, okay. And uh, everything is cooked under high pressure. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are under the impression that a propeller is just a blade and a hub. Uh, it takes a little bit more than that. Um, of course, uh, you're going to need uh, the blade. Uh, you're going to need a hub at a, either a two, three, four, or five blade hub. And uh, one thing that I want to bring uh, to the attention of the viewers is the fact that we are the only propeller manufacturer that actually has a entirely uh, hub made out of carbon fiber. So that's what makes it uh, extremely light. It's the fact that uh, the, the hub, it's actually made uh, out of forged carbon, you know? Uh, reason why it's so light. Uh, so you have uh, the blade, you have the hub, and um, you have uh, the bolt skids um, that, uh, that, that are attached uh, in case you may or may not need a spacer. Uh, that's just to bring out uh, the, the propeller uh, out of the cowling. And uh, we also offer um, spinners and back plates. And uh, another thing that uh, was added to our suit, to our suit of product this year was uh, the fillets. Uh, that actually fills the holes where the blades are actually exiting uh, the propeller. And that uh, makes a big difference. You can actually gain some speed by doing that. And it also looks very aerodynamic. So it's functional, it's not just fit and finish. It's not just fit and finish, it's also function. For those of us who have never done this before, including myself, could you give us like an abbreviated version of what it would be like to set the pitch on a prop? Okay, well, uh, Brian, uh, this is a question that I get quite often as well. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need is some kind of adjusting tool uh, to be able to, uh, to adjust uh, a, a, a propeller. 
the blades properly. And then uh, what you do is uh, on the Duke Propeller, we recommend to go 25 millimeters from the tip of the blade. Uh, you put a sign and that's where on all three blades, three, two or four or five blades, that's going to be your reference point where you're going to uh, actually put uh, the adjusting tool and make sure that you stay at a level angle, uh, level line and then adjust all blades at the same, keep them at the same angle. So once you've picked uh, the distance, you just have to be able to, uh, to make sure you adjust all blades to the same angle. And once you have an angle, uh, you have them properly aligned, uh, you should be good to go. No, essentially there's no, uh, there's no uh, pin uh, needed or involved in a hub. So essentially you loosen up the first half of the hub and all we need to require you that you do is that you align each label on top of the order. It's essentially a clamshell and uh, you put in the blade and you make sure it's completely in, inserted inside the hub and then uh, once it's tightened, you know, uh, you just have to loosen it up to be able to adjust the angle. Uh, it's that simple. There's no pin involved. It's really, really simple to adjust. Uh, it takes some getting used to, but once you get a hold of it, it gets, gets a hand of it, it comes quite simple to do. Blades having a TBO like an engine, but they also have an in-service time as well, correct? That's correct, Brian. Um, our older generation of blade, meaning that the wind spoon and the swirl, we used to have an 800 hours time between overall. 800 hours or five years, whichever came first. Uh, but our new generation, the swirl three, the swirl two, the flash, um, the flash family and all our, our variable pitch propellers actually have, uh, the newer generation actually have a 2000 hours or five years, whichever come first. Uh, and uh, it's important to emphasize the fact that uh, all the temp uh, all the TBUs are made here in the U.S. Uh, you all we ask that you do is send us the blade. We'll inspect them. Uh, we'll make sure that the protective leading edge is still uh, uh, is still very well uh, attached to the carbon fiber. Uh, we also want to make sure that uh, the the blade is actually um, uh, functional and then we'll recredit you for five hours or 2,000 hours, which come first. And uh, we do that for our customers that send us our blade all the time. Uh, all they're responsible for is the shipping back and forth. This, this is your, uh, your storage room. Talk to us about lead times and shipment and stuff like that. Well, uh, Brian, what we usually do is that if you get your order before three o'clock, it leaves the same day. And most of the time, uh, we do carry a full inventory uh, in stock here out of our warehouse in Sebring. So uh, your order, you place an order, it will leave the same day. If you, as long as we get it before three o'clock, it will leave the same day. Anytime after three o'clock, uh, it will leave the following day. Uh, for uh, customize or special items, uh, it takes about two weeks uh, tops uh, shipping from France. We still charge you US shipping, uh, but you will get it in two weeks from, uh, from France. It's that quick. Excellent, excellent, good to know. So if somebody wanna reach out to, to you or read more online on your website, where can they find you? Uh, we can, uh, they can find us on uh, www.dupropellersusa.com or uh, feel free to give us a call at 863-991-0113. Uh, this is uh, a US number and someone uh, is always available to answer the phone 24 seven. Okay, we've got a show coming up here soon in the next month or so, April. Will you be at Sun and Fun this year? Of course, we will. Uh, we'll also be at Benson Days, uh, which will be uh, the big uh, gyro um, that's happening on, uh, I believe, the second week of April uh, before Sun and Fun. So it'll be uh, a few days before Sun and Fun. We we'll look forward uh, to meeting you uh, guys at Sun and Fun. Excellent. Well, thank you for the tour today. My pleasure. Thanks for stopping by, Brian. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out our brand new website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com. And be sure to subscribe to our digital newsletter. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.